I took this picture in the beautiful town of Stanford. Uh, as you come round the, the corner, the top corner up here, you come round, and all of a sudden you're greeted with this sort of like wooden bridge across the road there with the George of Stanford. This is the George of Stanford there, and rather nice sort of uh, pub come hotel. Jumped out the car, waited for the traffic to clear, and there was a fair bit of it about. Got this shot without the traffic, however we have got the traffic lights and this is what we're going to take a look and we're going to see how we're going to remove this using the clone tool so coming across it's the stamp tool here the clone tool but we're going to be using it in conjunction with if you haven't got it open if you go to window dropping down to clone source that opens it there it is there and what we're going to do is just grab hold of this and I'm going to pop it up amongst the rest of my tools so there it is dropped in there neatly okay first things first we're going to come in. I've got the stamp tool already selected. We're going to put in a new empty layer. So we're going to be cloning to the new empty layer. Coming up to the top, just make sure on the menu bar you have all layers selected. So we're going to be cloning. Make sure it's using the all layers. Right, let's zoom in on the area of the offending traffic light. Let's just take a look at that there. That looks pretty good for the size of it. And if we just come across this is where we're going to be getting the pixels from. If you just press the Alt key on a PC, that's the Alt key on a PC, it's the Option key on a Mac, clicking down, so that's where we're getting the pixels from, coming across. There's the front edge of our sort of window frame there, so I'm just going to gently click down. This will enable us, if I bring it across to that, you can see there's the brick sort of framework coming in already. If I just lift it up to that area there, you can see there's the brick framework. Right, so if we come up, so the clone source tool for the width and the height if we start now with the width I'm just going to click down move this across you'll notice the height going up exactly the same I'm going to take it to I think it's going to be roughly this sort of area you see just coming over the edge there a little bit so I'm going to take that up a little bit further perhaps to 120 looks pretty good no it's just a little tiny bit there so up a little bit more than 120, 122. Let's try that. Perfect. You can see it's lining up there now. So we've got this brick pier here, or this brick part of the window frame, stone, sorry, not brick, coming through. That's lining up nicely. Let's take a look at the height. Now you can see the height is actually taking it out of proportion. It's taking it to that area there. That's lifting up a little bit too high. I'm going to unclick the link here so we're now using these independently we're going to drop the height back to something in the realms of you can see the height dropping down something it's going to be round about let's go for 110 if we just come into this area here it's difficult to tell when you can't see there just it needs to go a little bit more you can just see a little bit of a wobble wobble even with that <laughs> right so let's come through let's take that up a little bit more 110, 111. Let's try that now. That's lining up there nice. That's lining up perfectly. So we can come in. We can start to clone. Don't forget, we've already made the selection by popping down the Alt or the Option key. So we can now come across. We're going to come up to this area here. If I just click down, you can see we're putting in the stone. That looks pretty good. The window frame there. Coming across these uh, mullions or whatever they're called don't quite line up being as I can't remember what they're called, it doesn't really matter. So just coming down, dropping down over that framework there, coming up over the side, you can see the way this is now lining up with the top part there, fantastic. Coming across like this, and just coming down again, removing the traffic light. Round we go. I've always wanted to do this with traffic lights. We'll change them to green. Oh, there's another tutorial for you. Right, so coming through just onto this part here. And if we come up, we come into there. This little black thing is sticking out. Flagpole, where they probably stick a load of flags out. Just coming out to that little box. You can see the cross just on the opposite one there. So that's coming there nicely as well. Don't forget, we're cloning to a new empty layer. This gives us the ability to be able to come back through. We can use the eraser tool as an example and just erase what's underneath. Coming down, I like that, just into this area here. And brilliant. You can come across, you can do the rest of it, but you'll notice the stonework is of a completely different colour. It's a lot sort of darker over on this window. We're picking up the pixels up from this area here. 
and uh, I think we, what we need to do now is just change the source of the pixels so pressing the alt or the option key we're going to pick up the pixels from this area here just coming into this and just coming across like that will do nicely coming down I just want to make sure we got the block coming through there so just going to go a little bit of a line across just to give that lineage and up a little bit like that and coming down using the alt or the using the alt or the option key using can tell the concentration can't you using the space bar that's what I was thinking of saying but it didn't come out that way picking the pixels from here let's drop down miss a block or two out so you don't see the repeating pattern as such so just coming across like this and over that area like that so we're getting the tones in there nicely I'm just coming into this part and it really is it's just filling it in you can come back over it and sort of redo it but that's looking pretty good like that dropping down you can see we've also got this uh, traffic light controller or whatever it's called it's probably got a very technical name and just coming across got a bit of a repeat pattern there so let's get rid of that while we're at it right coming over to the window ledge on the opposite side don't forget we've still got these details that we've put in so we're going to use these again now we're going to come across we're going to click right on the edge like that so that's why we're picking the pixels up don't forget you hold the alt key on the PC it's the option key on the Mac coming across we can line up the bottom part of that window ledge there it is there just lining it up underneath clicking down in we go we can now come in remove the traffic light controller coming down to the top of the wall there that dark patch just coming over there's a bit of a dark patch there to, as well so that lends itself quite nicely over the edge here you can see the little cross there just dropping down onto the edge of the pavement coming through like that up the other side job done nice one right so let's just take a look I think it's just out a little bit on this so what we're going to do is just pick up the alt or the option key clicking down and just moving this across let's just take a look like that would do nicely and there it is perhaps coming in making the most of it just dropping these darker patches down to blend them in like that and there you are using command zero control zero there it is and uh, now we've actually got the sort of the option to be able to switch our traffic lights on or off so rather than going to red or green we can now just quite literally have them on and off which could cause an awful lot of chaos so we're going to leave it like that there it is that's using the clone source tool you can see how we can use it just to line things up makes it look far more realistic but just switch it on and off you can see the way there it's lining things up pretty well there the size of the window is all in scale all in proportion Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.